Yeah, it's a little blue cat. <laughs> Heck yeah. Little blue cat. <laughs> Troy from Tag Catters, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be targeting some small blue cats and some channel cats in this little creek that's by my house. Uh, we're going to be fishing a real steep river bend where it's usually a lot deeper than the, the rest of the part of the river because uh, in the winter time it seems like these catfish they stack up in these deeper holes. Uh, we're going to be using some shad, maybe some night crawlers, um, really kind of taking it back to the basics. Uh, we're just out fun fishing today guys. We're not out targeting big fish, but uh, these fish are fun nonetheless. So you guys hang out and we're gonna see if we can't put some fish on the bank. All right guys, we're set up down here. We're gonna fish this spot for about, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. Um, one, one thing that I wanted to, to let everybody know that fishes the banks and um, even even boat fishing too, especially in the winter time. Uh, I try to stick and move in these later you know later months in the year where it's cold and um, especially on these high pressure days. A lot of times these fish in the winter time they will school up in deep holes and usually if you find a deep hole you can find the fish. Um, but if they're not there. Uh, move you know move that spot get out of there go down the river find you another spot because usually within the first 15 minutes if they're schooled up in there they're going to bite and i'm not going to sit here and tell you you're not you can't wait them out because a lot of times you can but personally that what i like to do is i like to stick and move so i'll fish the spot for 30 45 minutes if nothing you know i'll get up and i'll, I'll leave um one thing that i do do is if I get a bite, um, I'll give that spot another 15 minutes. I won't mess with the pole. You know, I'll sit there. If I get a bite, I'll sit, I'll sit there another 15 minutes. Uh, a lot of times you get short, short bites, which is either smaller fish or the fish are just being finicky. Uh, so I'll give it another 15 minutes, whether or not I've been sitting there long, longer than that or, or, uh, or anything, you know, but anyways, um, uh, stick and move guys. Uh, again, we're going to be here for another probably 30, 40 minutes. And if not, we're going to uh, we're going to go to another spot that I know of. I know there's a bunch of shad in there. Uh, I'll probably catch some shad and try to switch things up a little bit. I've, right now, um, like I told you before in the beginning, we're we're back to the basics right now. I really didn't feel like going out catching bait, and so I just got some night crawlers. And uh, I've fished here before, and these channel cats will tear up night crawlers. So again, uh, we're going to stick and move, guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're down here at another spot on Mill Creek. Um, it's kind of wide right here. It's in another bend. Uh, I've been here for probably 10 or 15 minutes, and I've already, I've got one that got off. Um, I've had multiple bites. I caught a few little small shad and cut them up, and there's another bite. i got two bites over here. Anyways, as I was saying, guys, if these fish are schooled up like I think they are in the winter time, they're going to be there. So you, you know, as soon as you get there, you cast your lines out. They're going to start biting. Um, there he goes. Got that one, little guy. That's all right, fish. He's fighting like that first one. That first one I had, it really took off. I think it might have been a little bit bigger channel cat. This is just a little one. It's a little, yeah, it's a little blue cat. <laughs> Heck yeah. Little blue cat. There he is. Little baby blue. Pretty little things. Healthy. We're gonna let him go and uh, see if we can't get on another one. I'm getting another bite here. Got that one too. Uh 
<laughs> this is a little bit bigger fish. <laughs> it's my little boy cat. <laughs> there he is. He's a little bit bigger than that other one. Not by much, but he's a little bit bigger. I mean, these are little fish, guys, but man, these things are fun. Plus, it's great to see these small blues. That means these blues are in here. Um, means they're spawning and uh, reproducing in here. So that's a really good sign because this part of the Ohio River and Mill Creek and the Canal, you know, they don't have as many blues as a lot of other places. So these little things are good to see. We'll let him go and uh, see if we can't get on another one. All right, guys. So what I was saying was um, in the wintertime, these fish school up. Uh, I said it before, I'm gonna say it one more time because this is super important. Uh, these fish school up and if they're in there, they're gonna bite. So you don't have to sit at a spot for two or three or four hours and freeze your butt off trying to catch these fish. You know, if you sit there for, for 35, 45, 50 minutes, whatever, and you don't get a bite, get up and move. You know, I, I said it before, I'm gonna keep on saying it. And like here, I can't tell you how many bites I've had. I lost one, I've caught two, and I'm sure I'll catch another one. I've got three poles out. They're all my small poles. Um, really, these, these poles aren't for <laughs> channel cats or, or blue cats or whatever, but that's what we're going for. And, and, you know, you guys, anybody can do this stuff. You guys can come out here with night crawlers, chicken liver, whatever. And, you know, you can catch these little things. Uh, you know, most of these guys are, are, are out here trying to catch these trophy fish. And I know there's still a lot of people that just want to get out with their family or just enjoy catching smaller fish. So, this is how you do it, or this is how you can do it. Um, we're gonna hang out here and see if we can't catch some more, so you guys hang out. I figured these things would be stacked up in this little spot. I came up here last year and I actually did a video where I caught a mud dog and same thing, these little fish were just stacked in this little this little bend right here. Uh, I can tell what this one is. Little channel cat. <sighs> so there's that one guys. Little pretty little channel cat healthy he's actually got a white spot on him that's pretty cool look at that see a little white spot pretty neat well, he's pretty we're gonna let him go and see if we can't catch a few more man these things are fun Something little. Mud dog. <laughs> Old mud dog. Catch a lot of these things in the winter time right here. Actually, I caught one here last year. It's pretty gnarly looking. Come on, buddy. Boop. See you later. No 
a little baby blue cat. This little guy. Boy, they're fun. All right. Here he is. This little one. Look how pretty and pink he is. All right, let him go catch another one. Third one. Third mud All right, guys. That's about all we got for today. The bite's really slowed down. Um, I ended up catching four mud puppies. And for some reason, it seems like when I start catching those things, it seems like the fishing just slows way, way down. Um, but anyways... <laughs> We ended up catching five fish. Um, we caught four blues and one channel cat. I had a couple get off and I missed multiple multiple fish. But uh, we've had a pretty good day for uh, for what it is. You know, it's winter time, cold, cold front, high pressure. Um, so catching five fish from the bank is, uh, is pretty good. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, click the thumbs up, share it, and make sure you sub subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, like and follow the page. So. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.